Hello and welcome to your new website. This is Todd O'Dell with Engine.com, otherwise known on the community forums as Veeblees. This quick start guide aims to get you up to speed on how to exactly modify your website to suit your needs as a guild or clan leader. Let's start by modifying your homepage. You can do this by navigating to your admin panel. To do this, simply click on the admin link at the top left corner of your homepage. You'll notice that there are multiple tabs on your admin panel. The two we'll be working with today are the Pages and Modules tabs. Pages allows you to modify different entries on your website, such as your home page or your recruitment page, while Modules allow you to modify different features of your website, such as your forms, shoutbox, or news and blog modules. Let's go to your Pages tab for now. You'll notice that the home entry on your Pages tab has multiple containers in it. Containers can hold one or several modules. Containers can also be drag and dropped and snapped together like building blocks. With this method, you can build any page in a matter of minutes. Let's start by cleaning up our home page a little bit. For now, I'm going to remove extraneous containers and modules that simply might not be necessary. You can do this by clicking on the trash can icon for each container. Please note that when you delete a container, it does not delete the module and simply removes the reference to it for that particular page. I'm going to start by deleting the hit counter module because I don't need to be reminded that nobody is visiting my site. I'm also going to remove the RSS feed because I'm not a game developer and I don't care. And for demonstration purposes, I'm going to remove the entire right side column. Anytime you make edits to a page, it is updated in real time. If you want to view these changes in action, you can do so by clicking on the View Page button in the top right corner of the screen. As you can see, our home page is already considerably different from the last time we saw it, but we're not done making changes yet. I want to get rid of this ugly white space on the right side of the screen. To do so, I'm simply going to click on the column title and click on the Remove Column button. As you'll see, the middle column has automatically expanded to fill this current void. If you click on the View Page button, you'll see that the page has updated to reflect the new change. Now that I've made some room on my home page, I want to add the forums to it. I can do this by adding a new container. As you can see, the container has a new title, New Container. I can change this by clicking on the wheel icon next to the trash can icon that normally deletes. I'm going to name this container Forms. Then I'm going to click on the Add Module link, scroll down until I find the Form module, and add it. If I view the page, I can immediately see that my module has been added. Here are my forms for general discussion, gaming, and all my other categories. Right now, I'm just not happy with the current state of my forum module. It needs new categories. To add these, I'm going to modify it in the Modules tab. Scroll down to the forum module and click on the Edit button. and add a new category. I want my site to be popular, so I'm going to choose a popular new category that a lot of people are crazy about. And of course this category needs a subform so that it can actually have some content in it. Then I can go back to my Pages tab and view the page to see these updates have already been made in real time. And here we are. Here's my new category and my new subform. These are just the basics of modifying an engine.com website. As time progresses, we're going to be adding new video tutorials to our YouTube channel. In the meantime, I recommend that you visit the engine community forums or the wiki. If you have a specific question that isn't answered elsewhere, you can file a support ticket with us. Links to all three locations are available in the YouTube video description below.